matchup. Okay, um, I'm familiar with him as a Fox player, right? He has gone Falco. He likes to dabble in a lot of characters. Okay, yeah, because I've I've played him at like GHQ a few times. Yeah, and I remember him being a fox. Um, but. yeah, he just likes to experiment with a lot of different characters. Right now, he's going uh, Falco and Marth. Um, he likes the oh. Marth in this matchup. He relies heavily on his shields, and he loves his shield grab. So if he can, as Marth, yes, interesting, because Marth generally doesn't have super good out of shield options, but his shield grab is for sure very strong. Yeah, he loves that shield grab and. Right there, like if you miss space anything on his shield, guarantee you he will shield grab. Um, mm -hmm. He's not very much like wave dashing out of shield. He will just grab you if you miss space. So. Oh, and he yeah, he just waited on the platform with shield. I think that Virgil might have if he spaced it a little bit, shield poked with a back air. Uh, that's something I've seen from both these players already. Actually, is that they sort of hold shield on the platform, and then they wait for their shield drop punish, and yeah. that is really good. But if you wait too long on there, then you run the risk of getting shield poked. Yeah, and both that's Falco for sure. and Marth are pretty capable characters at getting those shield pokes. Oh, Marth, I, I know. We forgot to ask him how many star chips. Oh, he yeah. Had. Well, we know Virgil has two now, yeah, right? Yeah, we know he has two. Don might have one or two, I'm not sure. Um, Don did beat me in a, a single elimination grand final to uh, get a chip back. Oh, so. wow. I've never seen that before. He did <laughs> forward throw, forward <laughs> tilt, forward tilt, and yeah. it killed. I know. He he likes uh, using a lot of the different throws to, especially towards the side of the stage. But I think that's so good as Marth is just using those different throws. Yeah, um, I mean, like if you have, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't even aware that was a DI mix-up. So yeah, right. I know Marth is Marth is crazy. Okay, but this can be scary if really Bobby good by Don reacting to that nair out of the corner. He power shielded it and was able to shield grab it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's I've, that's the second time Don really just like called Virgil out right when he decided to leave the corner. Yep. And this, yeah, this is scary now. Can he get back? Look at Don's corner pressure. He is just not letting Virgil into the middle of the stage. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, but Virgil's got a nice. Okay. Yeah, so that runoff fair, I think Don was trying to catch the side B. He just kind of read it. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, what a tech. Yeah, really good tech. That saved his life. Yeah, for sure. Even if he doesn't get anything, he still has to work for it. So. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. But yeah, he got a little bit of extra percent off that stock. Uh, let's see if Virgil can take this real quick. Oh, I think he still has to jump. Going. Ooh, such a good bait. He knew that Don was going to be going for the shield grab, so he just double jumped away. Yeah. Good stuff, man. All right. But back throw oh, again. Here's oh, the oh. down tilt. <laughs> oh. I thought that he would just go for another down tilt, honestly. Yeah. But let's see. How's he going to get the edge guard? Grab the ledge. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right. Last stock. This is... This game one's always very close. important in uh, Marth Falco and Marth Spaceys in general. It really sets the tone and Marth's counterpicks Marth's really counterpicks are pretty strong. They are, so you know, this game is usually important. It usually starts out on battlefield, but you know. Okay. Oh, here's the Marth. Javi or Virgil rather, uh, mm. looking a little bit nervous. I would like to see a couple more lasers here when they have a distance to kind of close or, the space. Or even like if you know that you're in kind of a tense spot, it's okay to just sort of like not play for a little bit, you know? Right. Yeah. Like yeah, I just saw Virgil oh, right there. He he's just gonna do it. <sighs> oh. This is very close. It is. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, it's really good to just sort of like not engage for a little bit and uh, get your bearings a little bit. Like you don't always have to be playing neutral. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that was close. Yeah, they're laughing about it. <laughs> they're good friends. Um, they know each other very well. So, you know, um, and that's what's cool too is we got such a nice community here. Everybody knows everybody for the most part. And, you know, everybody's pretty homie. But at the end of the day, we all still want to win, you know? Oh, of course. <laughs> so. As much as we like each other, we also want each other to lose really bad, so. so that was a shield grab on the high dare. Yup. Yeah, Don really likes his shield grabs. But. Yeah, he does. But if you know that he's going to be going for those, then there's definitely ways to play around that as a spacey. What, what do you think would be good ways to play around that? So if you know they're going to be going for shield grabs, you have to first be sure when they're going for them. So are they reacting to your high aerials? Are they... Uh, waiting for after your shine aerial. So right there, I think that he uh, 
saw the aerial and tried to shield grab before uh, Virgil landed. But yeah. Virgil landed and jabbed, and so caught him out of the shield grab. And that's kind of what you need to be doing against someone who's spamming shield grab, is go for low aerials, then a fast move. Yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, in my experience playing Don, he likes to shield grab immediately. So if you space it too high, he will go for it. So. Yeah, exactly. So you need to be going for your low aerials for sure. And so that means that probably Don isn't super uh, preemptive with his defense. So he's more reactive and yeah, wait for you to hit his shield. For sure, yep. I would so, say so. So there's no real reason to be going for high aerials versus uh, Don. Okay, but... Kind of a whack uh, forward air there, but it gets the job done. Um, here we are at the grass stage, pretty neutral. Um, mm -hmm. Don started a tech chase, but didn't quite uh, capitalize on it. I, I thought I thought up air there yeah, actually. Me too. Uh, up air, if both hits connected, probably might have killed. Oh, he got the laser reset, but didn't capitalize. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he just held shield. Yeah, and sometimes that's what you gotta do, you know, is mm -hmm. they're gonna keep throwing out moves, and if you just stay in shield, you know? And then the other thing, like, I know the Falco players... Nice uh, I know the thing with Falco is that he gets a lot off of his moves rather than his grab, but if you notice that your opponent is grabbing a lot, I and shielding a lot, then you can go for grab. Yeah. Uh, Falco's forward throw especially, it puts people into the corner, and then it gives you the stage position that you need to work with. Marth isn't very good at getting out of the corner. So if you can like forward throw Marth in the corner with your grabs, that is actually a pretty, uh, it's not a combo, it's not pretty, but it does uh, get you a material advantage. Yeah, for sure. And hey, like grabs at the end of the day, like you're not gonna get like, like it's still unanswered damage. Yeah. Um, so like you're still gonna throw them off and you'll still get a uh, percentage. Um, but yeah, sometimes contesting shield can be really hard, but here we go. Ooh, big combo from Virgil. Oh, he uh, didn't quite... Uh, I think that he needed to be more ready that he was in a tech chase situation and be ready to reaction tech chase, or at least go for a read. Oh. Falco, something I learned over time, is actually a really big tech chasing character. Uh, it may not always look like it, but you need to know how to tech chase if you want to combo with Falco. Yeah, that's that is, for sure. After a certain point, you down air him to the ground, then they tech, and you have to, you have to hit him again. Yep. Oh. And there it was another oh, high no, nair. He oh, messed up the double laser. Oh. And that was off of a high nair again. You saw oh, that. Oh, uh, that's that stinks. I actually thought uh, Virgil won the first game, so I was like, oh, um, yeah, that that was brutal though. Because I mean, double lasers aren't my favorite thing to do against Marth personally. Because I feel like Marth, he he's got such a good way to deal with it with his sword. Mm -hmm. But you know, double lasering the wrong direction. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's over for you if you 